for one more. Hello, hi. Uh, thanks a lot for joining. Just a couple of minutes. I'm trying to actually still uh, share the, you know, even details everywhere. Just a minute. I think we'll give 10 minutes for people to join. I don't know where all people are joining. So how's life going? Prashant, thanks a lot for joining. Uh, one minute. I think I am... Uh... Okay, hi. Can you hear me? I'm audible? Yes, sir. Okay. So Prashant, don't show... it's a thanks a lot. Good. Prashant, you helped me a lot, uh, you know, redoing the website. So I'm very happy to sort of see that you could make it to the event. Just give another five, ten minutes and then we start. So, okay, thanks a lot for also Ankit joining. Ankit is helping me. He's uh, sort of working as a business development manager. Uh, he's got a digital company and he's helping me uh, in uh, digital outreach. So, Ankit, thanks a lot. Meet Prashant and his team. Uh, Prashant, uh, he's a fantastic guy. He works in web development. He's very good. And he helped me set up the website again. Many people developed the Middle Road website. And then he came in in the end at sort of set up the things right. So uh, it's good for you to now be connected on the same platform. Prashant and Ankit, say hello to each other. Hello, Prashant. Hello. How are you doing? Uh, we are just fine. Uh, thank you, Nishant, sir, for giving us opportunity to connect. Uh, 
with uh, yeah, everyone yeah. else. Sure, any time. Appreciating our. So actually, today's agenda is very simple. It's uh, going to be having a discussion for an hour, uh, where I'm going to be informing you what the middle road is all about, and the whole idea was to get sort of people on together since the first in person and I I bought even, uh, globally, and uh, so uh, to sort of set the agenda for the next meetings which is going to come from the middle. So the first is sort of to give them what the mission about the middle road is. and to take an opinion that what should be uh, i be doing uh, or what should the middle road be sort of looking at the next event so the first event has no agenda in the sense it's a very global macro sort of view on the what the middle what uh, the middle road is all about and then more themes should be given so i was sort of my understanding was to give the next meeting a theme on sustainable finance but uh, Uh, but so let's wait for another till about ten, and then we can start. And then you can also share your thoughts, uh, whatever you want uh, to discuss about. Am I cool here? Hello. Okay. So we will start around five uh, ten, and I think by five fifty we'll wrap up. We'll start wrapping up, and uh, uh, we'll close the meeting by six. That's what I was thinking. I'll uh, by people do join later on, then it can continue. But so we'll just wait for another five minutes. Just bear with me, and uh, feel free to give out any suggestions, anything you want to say. Feel free. Has it been a tough day for all of you today? How is it? Saturday is it a very high work work day? हाँ हाँ ये तो अभी तो हाँ अभी तो पूरा पूरा दिन काम ही चल रहा है और रात को भी चलेगा क्योंकि फॉरेन क्लाइंट भी है होल डे होल आई मीन होल I am so sorry and apologize for, um, you know, um, uh, yeah, sort of. Uh, uh, what do I say? You know, troubling you a bit, but uh, you know, it's it's great to finally be there. so i just wanted to also uh, brief you up that yesterday i had a podcast in april with the uh, you know kingsley goodwin in africa uh, he is based in nigeria and uh, this is my second podcast from uh, africa and what's very good is that let me also praise you a bit about uh, the social impact award so the social this is the first award which i am giving uh, is, is known as kusum uh, social impact award So Kusum is name of a mother, and I thought let me do something. Let's give awards to people or entities who are doing excellent works within this space. Now, uh, this is the first time uh, the Mill Road has come out with this award. So most likely there is no uh, uh, remuneration for this award. So if you win this award, as a good prize money, nee. But what I am doing is that I am going to be interviewing either one or multiple people for this award for about twenty twenty five minutes, very specifically about their work. and then uh, dis- uh, put this on the youtube channel on the uh, podcast channel and then this will go across all the social media uh, ch- uh, channels of the middle road for example it it will be on the youtube it will be on podcast it will be on newsletters on the handles and the group and everywhere so i think this is an excellent opportunity for people worldwide to at least uh, send in their applications there's just a couple of essays to write and to sort of uh to understand where the what about sort of more know more about your experience and i feel this will be an excellent opportunity 
for people worldwide to uh, you know apply so the good is like this is a technology you can apply from anywhere so we have interest from africa we've been interest from india i had uh, you know a lot of interest of course uh, uh, one person has applied and uh, you know so this this is going to go on for the whole of this month and i think the mid of next month or next before i start giving in uh, november so th- this is a excellent thing for the middle road uh, this is the first time uh, i've come out with these awards and this event and let's see how this goes so this is going to be a future uh, social impact awards so basically from the middle road and uh, i'm very thankful that it's come so there's another one to come out with in excellence so that i'll i'll come out at a later date but first i'm focusing so there are a couple of things looking for sponsorship for this uh, uh, award and uh, let's see uh, so sponsorship is not much could be for indian entities uh, uh, 10000 to 15000 and if you are looking at global it's just to 50 dollars plus so it's not a very steep uh, 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 what do you say sponsorship uh, sort of required for so i want your thoughts on this feel free to share anything which you think uh, which you want to share and i'll sort of would love to hear you hello yeah prashant or anket or anyone from your team or uh, feel free to sort of share what do you want to say uh about this initi- initiative feel free to apply you think anything which you have done which makes sense please feel free to apply uh it's it's open to all the people around the world who think they are so there's not any sort of guideline key it has to be only from that particular set hello uh, from a- any field uh, from any field can apply Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, Prashant, you are also eligible to apply. Ankit, you are also eligible to apply. All you have to in that essay say how you are making a social impact. That is it. So, social impact doesn't mean that it has to be only people within the development sector. You could have done some projects uh, which would have helped the society. You could have done it in a cheaper rate. You could have uh, done a done it for uh, underserved people of the society. Any work which you are also doing apart from. Uh, apart from what your job is it need not be only from the professional you might have saved somebody's life you might have done something which is very philanthropic you could have done something for a charity so anything whatever you think is a thing uh, within social impact is you can apply so i urge you uh, to, so you can do it at two essay you write those essays less than 1000 words and uh, so this time i'm the judge i'm trying to see if i can also get a committee so have it very uh, partial uh so that you know we have a very good uh, sort of uh, thing to get but it's 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 a, it's going to be a very good i urge you you, you tell people within your society uh, within your friends network your your relatives anybody so just don't think ki it is the work which only people from the social sector development sector can apply or csr anybody can apply and i i'm thinking of making a small video about it and circulating yes any graphics or video will be uh, beneficial to uh, share uh, with uh, yeah sure i'll do that and kya hai ki uh, the form is already out i can send you uh, i'll share that form also with all of you it's i have put it up in the linkedin group and the whatsapp group i'll again put it up so feel free to uh share uh, share it I'll, i'll sort of send it up to you so okay let's start so the middle road like i said this is what i spoke about middle road ka kya is one of the major themes of the middle road is it's loosely inspired by sustainable development goals but when it we are talking about enabling social change and impact of course one is uh, spreading education uh, high quality education at affordable rates and this is within the specific ideas which i talk about social impact space and not fun from because there is a linkage between what i'm doing in social uh, impact sector and financial services sector but the second thing which i feel uh, which i want to talk about is when you're talking about social impact it's very broad 
So it's not only limited to art, culture, and well-being. It's not only limited to what you're doing that you have to be developing. It's, it's, uh, it could be how you're leveraging technology for the positive social good. So you could be a uh, out and out enterprise, or you've done something uh, on a specific project for people around, for the underserved community also, or you know, just uh, if you are giving something which is very high quality around the world. Uh, at an affordable rate, that itself is a huge social impact. So that is a definition of uh, what the middle road. Whenever I'm talking about, and one of the things on this middle road, one uh, the whole way the uh, the startup has been structured is to sort of use all avenues at your uh, to sort of spread knowledge, uh, and uh, within that spread. So one is of course you you spread knowledge through online courses, which are very technical. Which I'm, um, which could be, which are predominantly in the areas of technical or uh, sort of uh, uh, not in the soft part, but more on the quantifiable side. So uh, some of the things could is in economics, development economics, sustainable economics, or plain economics, macro and microeconomics. It could be in uh, finance, sustainable finance, investment part of finance, statistics, impact valuation. So these are all which sort of uh, encompass. What the mission of the middle road is? Yeah, hi, Nishan. Okay, hello, hi. Great. Hi, hi. Good then. Okay, great. Then. So, uh, yeah. So X was online and uh, also in person, and I'm very glad you came. So, what's uh, your name? Full name is Divya. Divya. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I wrote a couple of emails. I accept my email, uh, phone number also. Okay. So okay. just. Uh, so I just wanted all of you to say hi to uh, Divyan. Uh, so this was, like I said, a high board meeting. I'm really glad that he could make it. Divyan, you could say hi to everyone. Yeah, hi everyone. So I, I think before we start now, and I was just giving a brief intro, I think everybody could give a small uh, sort of an introduction. We can start with Divyan. A lot of people know me and then Prashant and Ankit. You could also share whatever you want. Yeah. Hey, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Divyan Katharia. And uh, basically, I'm from uh, Gujarat, Surat. Uh, I'm working here with uh, Adiant Company. Uh, and uh, I'm a car designer, basically. So, and I'm good to kind of contact with you here. Thank you for that. So, Divya, let and me ask you one question. Yeah. How did you come to know about the Metal Road? Uh, from uh, Event Byte uh, yeah, online, online uh, things. So, so, what attracted you? Uh, have you checked out some of the Metal Road? Uh, no, actually, I didn't. I don't know about this uh, event. Okay. But uh, I am uh, normally what I I recently started this. Thing. Okay. Uh, I'm going to this. I'm searching for for this kind of uh, event. Event. Oh, I'm very going good. To that. Okay, very and good. And I'm attending. So just to also give you a brief up to also Divyan and all of you that anybody who's joining this event, you're getting 15 days of free subscription. So almost all the material on the middle road, except I think uh, applied learning, uh, everything on the middle road, you get access for 15 days, free of course. So a lot of things are anyway free. Like I said, the middle road is a social impact driven company. And uh, so I'll just give again a brief description. The middle road was uh, inspired by, I'll just sort of, does this light uh, uh, move a bit? Maybe, uh, uh, yeah, okay, come, you can come here. Okay. Yeah. Sure. So the so middle road was inspired, like I said, a bit by sustainable development goals, loosely inspired. But the whole idea, the the startup is more of a platform as a service. You get free and premium content. So the premium content, uh, there's a lot of free, and it started off as a free terminal before it sort of uh, shifted last year as as a minimum viable product. Uh, as a to work platform as a service. So I want to thank, of course, Prashant was instrumental in fine-tuning uh, the, the website. So this was predominantly designed everything by me in terms of the whole uh, courses, online content, unless it's uh, otherwise stated. And the whole idea was to give knowledge, which is highly beneficial to one global development sector. And of course, then I added financial services. So it forms in two uh, different parts. One is uh, your, uh, how it blends media and tech is, it has publications, uh, articles, posts, which are centered around those specific topics. Then it has like courses, which I talk, which are more quantifiable, 
which is which should give you skills in either statistics, impact valuation. You get at least just a brief up on impact valuation. Then the macroeconomics course, which is predominantly free. Then courses on micro, which has now become a premium course. Applied learning, which sort of is offset separating. Then a lot of uh, lessons in statistics are free. Uh, impact value. And, uh, and then you have uh, very specific skill set courses like uh, um, impact bonds. Then you have a second course, which is uh, on investment analysis. Now, investment analysis and portfolio management is only one course, which actually you can't define, which will be important to the development sector because this more... Uh, talks about single factor capital asset pricing model. Now, this is very important uh, in the sense uh, for people who are in the financial services sector who actually are buying equities. They would fundamentally know more about what is risk, how to calculate risk, what is portfolio management, what is efficient frontier. So, different parts of which, as a fundamental theory, is very, uh, very much required. So, that's one part of uh, the standard. Then this is locked as a product which you can access globally, uh, you know, through a monthly subscription plan or you can buy those courses now here on Odemi. The second, of course, part is the uh, advertising services or, you know, paid webinars it could be. And the second is also workshops. So started workshops on these topics. Then third part is podcasts, webinars, newsletters. The, uh, the podcast do two things. It gives you a very good perspective on some of the things which are actually happening. And the second part, which is very important here, is that it could be very educational. For example, Dr. Helen Clark's uh, podcast was educational. Uh, Alfredo Quarto's uh, podcast was very educational. Some are a blend between educational and perspective like uh, past popular. Or some could be like very descriptive of what they are doing. So I've predominantly now covered, uh, it's a, the, the middle road is inspired to go to US as a headquarter just to sort of, uh, give you perspective or maybe certain parts of Europe, like the Nordic countries also. But how you, it's, it's got a very global outlook. India remains one of the most, uh, important, uh, countries or regions. But then at the same time, it's very global. So made sure that what, Podcast guests have come from Africa, they've come from US, and they've come from uh, South America, and now we have, of course, from India. So this is just to give you a broad perspective. A lot of, a couple of these podcasts are also essential reads uh, for online courses. Then you had webinars, and you'd sort of uh, invite thought leaders or people who have been sort of you know, leading social change makers, or if they are within the particular theme of the middle way. One is that. Now, second part, which I would say is that webinars, newsletters, then there's an online community which I've created. Uh, and of course, now workshops just started. The The company was predominantly in B2C. Uh, now, uh, emphasis more is on B2B. There's an outreach, there's a special corporate, there's a special uh, academic package. So this is, uh, so the, the, the reads are actually very good. Is They could be like art and culture. There could be podcasts on art and culture. There could be rock music is a major part. Fitness is a sort of major part. And so it's very broad. The social impact is very broad. The courses are maybe more technical. The reads are, some of them are instructional, but very few are instructional. And the rest are, of course, uh, it could be a direct research work or it could be basically reproduction of something of essential uh, research paper, which could have been. So there's a mix of academic as well as the uh, uh, so that is the whole middle. And the first meeting, of course, today was to set the agenda for the next couple of meetings. And I was talking about, for example, I've given a couple of webinars for Atal Innovation Mission, which is the apex body driving innovation and uh, startup culture in India. And also one of them was on sustainable finance. Then I also interviewed Mr. Raman Rabanathan. So some of the podcast guests includes Anu Agar, you had uh, Manoj Kumar, you have Anu Prasad. We had Nangma Mulla, so some of the sort of, you know, people who are doing excellent work within the sustainable development sector. So sort of give you a shade. So this is the whole idea. The whole idea was now to have an in-person meeting, which I'm sure everything starts from small and small is beautiful. And then it sort of spreads around the world. So this is the first, and this will be, of course, remembered because it's been documented. It's recorded that this is the first meeting. And of course, one day, I envision that to be a very global meet at a very global level, where people, uh, policy makers, 
uh, uh, corporates, institutions, government institutions, leaders will come and be addressing this meeting. So thanks a lot for first making history. Uh, I want to uh, congratulate all of you uh, uh, for making it to the event. Would you like to have something? Coffee? No, no. Just at least have, have at least have coffee. Okay. I'll just uh, okay. So uh, so just just to set you uh, a perspective on this. And now I open the floor for all of you. Uh, my views were that the next event which I am planning would be on sustainable finance. So this is what, because I thought we could start with, uh, which is the intersection of social impact space and finance space, because that's sort of a huge theme. And the best is to start with social impact. So that's why yesterday I started the impact investing series. And in that I interviewed uh, Kingsley Goodwin from Africa, just to give sort of a new perspective on. I wish he had made it. I also WhatsApped him uh, the link, but somehow people could not. People were expected to meet. So this is to sort of start. Now I open the floor for you. You can give any views. Be free. We could start with uh, the gentleman here, and then I'll go to Prashant and Ankitja and Kiran and Yogesh. So all of you uh, speak anytime, whatever you want to start. So uh, actually, uh, before starting, uh, I just want to not be into this financial at all. Uh, maybe it's uh, new for me. So I think uh, I want people for the about this. So I think, uh, okay. Okay. So let me explain why. So let me explain why. So when you go into social impact space or whatever you're doing, you have to have a very good understanding of macroeconomics. Whether you're working in technology, whether you're working for FMCG, whether you're working in any industry, whether you're an artist, you need to have a global understanding. The global understanding best way happens through global macroeconomics. You need not be a very go very deep. That depends upon you. So that was the idea to start a course on global macroeconomics, which is constant, which is very vertical where somebody from non-profit would like to know. If you know how the economy is doing, how the global economy is doing, because it percolates down to individual economies, then you have a very better understanding of what the market scenario could be. If you're in fundraising, you know, if you're into a recession, global recession, then fundraising will be uh, difficult for you. Then you might not be getting a lot of concessional finance also, because during these times is where the charity or even plan profit funding goes down. So, so just to give you an example, now when you're within the social impact space, you're a policy maker, one of the critical things for you now today is microeconomics because those are the fundamental issues which you're going to be using to drive policies. So that becomes also very important for a non-profit or a lot of organizations. I won't say it becomes very critical uh, for uh, for profits working in a technology on this, but then again, at the same point of time, there are various facets, it does become important. Now, today, the development sector are highly quantitative. So you need to have a very good understanding of statistics, regression analysis. Things. So that's why statistics also. So statistics gives you, statistics an excellent course for people who want to deep dive into Python, machine learning. If you're in technology space, you're doing whatever, you're into, you're in FMC, and you want to know consumer behavior. This is the fundamental statistics course, which gives you very good understanding. Or you'll be coming out with habitation testing, or you're going to form views. Because this is the pre predominant uh, thing which you require for uh, forming uh, sampling, you know, or if you're doing sampling, for coming out with news, or you want to do some research work, you want to do hypothesis test, you need to have a uh, hypothesis with you to test your ultimate or whatever you want to do. So this was the sort of idea. And of course, there are impact bonds. Gives you a very good understanding of social finance space. It adds on to social and development bonds. It sort of focuses on that particular uh, area. And it's a record-breaking uh, sort of, I think I was one of the first ones to come out with such an online course. Uh, you have got sort of quizzes. You have got reference materials. You have case studies, which are very normally how in the market it is happening. So this gives you a very good idea. For finance, of course, then you have a uh, uh, course on uh, investment analysis, forms like a story. It's sort of from Peter Burston's book. Peter Burston was a great thought leader. 
He has written some excellent books which people in the fashion industry should read about. So just to give you a fair bit of idea about uh, how the middle road and why. So when we talk about sustainable finance, now when you talk about social sector, social sector has come out with a lot of innovations within the sustainable finance space. Then the social sector. So one is, of course, green bonds, sustainable bonds. You have two bonds. So there are different kinds of bonds which people, various actors are going whether it is corporate, uh, countries, like for example, India came out with a green bond. Countries, all over the world, countries are coming out with bonds in order to finance projects within the sustainable. It could be climate finance, it could be any of the finance. Blue bonds, which are for it. You have sustainable development bonds, you have sustainability bonds, you have link bonds, the various kinds of bonds. So these are again a type of uh, financial instrument used uh, by the social sector. However, the underlining of this are all fixed income analysis is predominantly what this it sort of follows the same fundamental analysis as you look at the normal bond market sector. Now the the actors who actors could be fixed uh, governments, it could be corporates, it could be multilateral banks like World Bank, IFC, or any of the African Development Bank, or uh, you know a bank in Latin America. But it could be a different kind of like sort of you have. Uh, Femi may, you know, so you have other sort of agency uh, back instruments uh, based in uh, in America or, you know, sort of. So just to give you a perspective, that was what I was thinking that let's start to this particular. Uh, so just, uh, so I'll just uh, switch off this thing, uh, camera for a minute or uh, the camera is on. So why don't you, we all discuss this and I am open to any, any of it. Let me just order something for uh, Ben, but uh, let's start with the. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Uh, it's fine. Uh, uh, it's okay. Yeah, sorry. So this is uh, so. Let's let's uh, hear your views, and uh, you know I, I'll come to everyone. So let's start with Prashant. If you want to share something, uh, I, I think uh, this uh, the middle road dot com is uh, very much uh, beneficial. Uh, hello, Prashant. For, uh, hello. Uh, uh, hello. Am I audible? Hello, yeah, Prashant. You can speak anything. What do you want? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I think the platform is uh, very much beneficial. Uh, okay, for... uh, Prashant or Ankit, anything, whatever you want. So currently, I don't have anything in my mind. So please, Hello? Prashant, you can continue. I don't know. Yeah, okay. So, I'm going to mention anything. Uh, Sahil, uh, say that. Uh, about your yeah, sustainable finance, right? And it is a uh, all uh, business like uh, all yeah, 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 you right. Yeah, so bonds are in all the. Uh, actually, I'm not aware about the bond thing. You, uh, I need to know that. Yeah, yeah, no, okay. that's okay. So there's a publication on that, but we can discuss anything. So I just wanted to know what sort of topics interest all of you. Uh, topic like for finance or uh, yeah, any or, topic within this topic. whatever interest uh, like electric cars interests you do okay so mostly I am uh, into like uh, getting the uh, founding funding the finding the solution uh, problems from uh, customer and uh, give it give it to them a solution for uh, product design and uh, any kind of industry or design. Like related to car or any uh, daily uh, products we are using. Okay. Maybe it could be a industrial design if you uh, say it be like the furniture or uh, daily routine, like our uh, electronic product or so. So, this uh, sort of uh, thing. Uh, but uh, yeah, so let's say designing. So when you talk about, you could talk about sustainable designing, which could be a part of uh, the social impact space, but directly designing something for the cars only. But you could say that I want to learn more about electric cars. 
Yeah, so that becomes a part of the middle roads agenda. Yeah, that 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 is that could become a part or uh, anything which is to done like uh, uh, one point I can like tell. Uh, if we are doing something in automotive car or anything, right? so basically uh, right now uh, there are many uh, things, many technologies are conventional, which are we 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 are using uh, from last uh, decades or more than decades, right? But uh, right now people are more aware about sustainability and uh, all things, right? Uh, uh, which is yeah, impact yeah. on uh, yeah, environment, uh, environment, right? So. That could be a point for like a middle road, uh, how we can uh, uh, shift from conventional to uh, new technology, which is uh, uh, impacting environment less. Yeah, so that of course is a major part. Uh, uh, so, there could so be the a thing technology, is, technology. There could be a material. So yeah, yeah, thing. yeah. That's great. So when you talk about sustainable finance, these are tools. Which could actually be sponsoring projects in Pradhan. Okay. So what you're talking about is like how to move towards a renewable energy. Uh, let's say I want to do a project on that space. So sustainable finance. So one way a corporate could do is it could go to the market or raise funding, whatever, saying that we are doing something in the uh, particular space. So that is actually a theme of the build road. That's the right thing uh, that we could also discuss. So that's what I thought. That next time it makes sense to talk about sustainable finance. Maybe I could also give a presentation so that people around the whole uh, world can also see and uh, be a part, a small one, just sort of a brief introduction so that everybody comes to know that uh, uh, you know what sustainable finance is, what are different things. Just a sort of a very small. What do you say? Any one of you? Hello. Yeah, anyone? Kiran, Yogesh, Prashant, Ankit. What do you say? No, sir, not from my side. Yeah, could be up technology may agar up selector anything which you think could be a which a part. I understand. But you can be more participative. You can share your thoughts like, you know, here up Divyan. Divyan. So Divyan has sort of been, you know, he's sharing. Abhi, you can also share anything. It doesn't matter. So. Yes, Kiran, you want to say, would you want to say anything? Basically, Middle Road is giving that to Abhi. Uh, start with that <laughs> yeah so middle road is a knowledge building platform so you get publications like i said reads articles everything so of course uh, there's podcast any around. any thing we can get from uh, at uh, middle uh, uh, yeah so i'll just sort of also take you through i'll just share the screen Just, I'll just share. Hello, are you guys there or not? Yeah, yeah. I'm here. Fine. Yes, yes, yes. We are there. Yes, sir. We are available. So I'll share what I'm doing. I'm sharing the whole screen. And uh, one minute. So you can also see it. Why is the sharing is not happening here? Okay. The entire screen, right? The screen. Okay. Uh, here you will get a very good perspective. Sorry, I didn't check out. This is no, no, no worries. Right? So this is the middle road. Okay. See, this is the home page you come. So the whole idea of the home page is to first, of course, here I'm talking a bit about the middle road. Just to give you, this does not mean that every time the video, the video is changing. So, the, like I said, the topics are very broad. Hollywood, for example, uh, show business. 
how it is enabling social change and impact that's a part of the middle okay. so yeah so you know anything rock music uh philanthropy well being art culture so if you look at the uh, the publication on uh, america where i talked about how great america is in terms of art culture museums so that is an excellent example of uh, the part for or it could be very highly technical for example productivity chat gpt and steady state New talks about yeah yeah talks about yeah. so it talks about a middle of pani liya definitely so the, the coffee is on me so i'm i want to appreciate a lot thank you okay. so or it could be wildlife con- conservation uh, bond so this was a sort of very innovative bond this part of an impact bond which came out in africa so this could be read or you know more actually technical could be sort of a productivity read which you got about some complex uh, uh, measures or sort of concepts within the macroeconomics so this is one so this is how it is integrated various themes it could be highly technical it might not be technical it, it could be something which is very crazy it could be like space exploration which is sort of covered like a story it could be a fictional story like wang zhong so he was a great traveler uh, and uh, you know from from china came to india so you know various things so it could be something like in physics it could be quantum physics elementary particles anything sort of which is a huge part of the social impact space one then you have online courses which are which are predominantly what i said within a technical aspects of the middle road and then you have also global bite so insights is like very highly Uh, could be four thousand words, pretty crazy. Uh, highly, uh, very sort of uh, could be cool read, or it could be very sort of get me also uh, people capture. So this is one, or it could be a uh, uh, sort of reads which are uh, uh, you know very light reads or a sort of a smaller reads, less than five five hundred words, just across certain topics. then you can advertise on the middle road which i talked about you have uh, all these places where i highlight a lot of times i also put free uh, videos out here and then you have online courses which i talked about so this is a different podcast podcasts are across on different platforms like spotify apple itunes so podcasts not only sort of bring visibility it sort of adds a lot of value of what people are doing it's not only a read where you come to know and you don't know what actually is happening so this is sort of a disconnect with what the practical could be which is happening and what could be the bookish read so that's where sort of business gap you know sir so then you have a lot of stuff so you have webinars which i and this is an online community which is no longer on this so there was a forum which i discontinued for some time and then you have an online community on linkedin you have of course newsletters you have a uh, different kind of journal so you have a lot of also webinars and uh, it takes a lot of time so that's why i'm not doing but i plan to again start doing webinars from globally so when you look at these reads so it's a product as a service so i've already logged in so you can see you'll not be able to access every lot of things are free but then you need to purchase a subscription which is also which actually if you look at in uh, with the uh, first month uh, is could be just bit more expensive then i give uh, three months at a much more discounted rates but lot of things are free so you just register i'm going so give you a perspective i'll take sort of give you uh, for nine and become 25 and about what is it so let's say so this all adds up to the courses so if you have done courses uh, then this will be a better read for you unless you have not done courses then you won't it will have a, a bit of a problem but this is standardized a standalone course to tell you so just look at the research work which goes right then you also usually in this there is no embedded video but i have also videos embedded within the uh, within read so which takes you and explains you different concepts but these are not stand alone of course you have to have a very good knowledge either or you have uh, gone through the various courses to go through macro economic to build expertise certain kind and then you so you come to know uh, this is a supply side this is a demand side you know how the just to give you perspective how about you everybody am i uh, do i make sense 
so just just to share you uh, and you can go and register here then you have a card you can advertise on the middle road and uh, if you're an entity you advertise you get sort of uh, uh, it's one of the most reasonably priced outreach it's a very bespoke model it's highly customized it depends on you how much out sort of outreach you want it could be with publications videos podcast anything so so this is uh, just to give you perspective Yeah, just run by you or uh, yeah so team. okay so this is just run by me just to give you perspective just a minute i did not make the website so prashant a lot of different agencies came in so prashant was the last person who sort of did a lot of work he sometimes assists me still if there are problems right? so otherwise i handle from the uh, all the things to be done and uh, that's how it works so yeah at present there is only one then ankit is jai's uh, he's a he's got a digital marketing company and uh, he's going to be assisting me now in sale of certain courses so i hired him uh, you know to work as a business development digital marketing company uh, so he's going to be doing work for me in the digital sort of marketing so now i think everybody has a very good understanding of the middle road of course prashant you always have but ankit am i cool yeah 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 okay. ankit i mean i are you guys ankit kiran yogesh yeah so in come to technology if we want to reach to the person so how can we so connect you have to also uh, send your i mean i have most of them maybe kiran and you guys email id is not there so i have to set up your accounts for uh, uh, you know for uh, for about 15 days so the whole idea here was to have a first understanding of the middle road this is an introduction this is the first webinar or this is the first uh, event from uh, hybrid event of course from the middle road and uh, it just sets the agenda so if you want to add something here why don't you guys add something whatever you want interesting but all right that's all like we get the video on the attention what can you repeat so it's just a like the attention of it i will i will my focus is चलो वो बाद में चलेंगे ना नॉट तो सो ऑलरेडी स्पोकन अ लॉट अबाउट द एजेंडा ऑफ द मिडिल रोड यस यस नो बट सो इन दैट केस वन एंड आई थिंक यू समथिंग बिफोर एनीवन ओके वॉइस इज नॉट कमिंग अप uh just try to unmute uh, prashant hello ha uh, am i audible yeah now you are audible right uh, yes yes actually uh, uh, many of us uh, tried to speak but uh, our voice not uh, was not Sorry, audible i just put um, the headphones in ha huh? okay 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 uh, so the kiran now uh, want to speak something Okay, please go ahead. Uh, so, in terms of uh, talking about the technology, so how can we connect the people uh, regarding uh, technology enhancements, uh, the technology uh, widespread? How can we connect the people uh, in the uh, in terms of digital marketing or uh, connect people? Ah, uh, okay. So, I have an online community on LinkedIn. So people can connect with each other. So you may I keep it, and then there's a WhatsApp community. So people who want to communicate with each other can always post their uh, these days, and then uh, 
like like a normal community the front is very is that what you are asking kiran no no in terms of technology what uh, how uh, as you are talking about the digital marketing isn't it yeah so uh, in terms of technology uh, or uh, in terms of uh, how how we can widespread uh, the digital marketing to connect the people together yeah. oh, okay so what so in this case you have uh, i mean in, as as a middle road has got lot of social media uh, Uh, outreach you have twitter you have linkedin you have uh, 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 facebook i'm not using much but it's also have got a sort of presence in instagram so that is the way you connect globally through digital marketing then you have an seo you have organic and inorganic you have uh, uh, google ads you have linkedin ads you have a youtube channel you have youtube ads which i use so there are various ways which you uh, use to spread uh, <laughs> What are you doing? I'm doing at the middle. Okay. Am Am I clear here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So one, of course, is the uh, all the social media channels. One is you can create a online uh, link. Uh, I mean, community. And the second, you will be using either organic or inorganic. So one way, of course, is SEO. The best way to do uh, organic is SEO, which I usually do in built. I also had uh, uh, somebody do the technical SEO part. Then you have various uh, ways like google ads like i talked about you can pay and you can do then you can go to third party platforms who actually take money uh, and then they uh, do digital outreach for you that is another way which could happen now in terms of organic there are various new technologies which have come in but uh, those are done for uh, at a very high marketing budget where you have maybe a million views or something which you are looking at a very high per day About a thousand hits uh, on on those senses. So I've not personally used them, but then there are other ways of doing uh, organic marketing. So uh, you are feel free. I think you'll be expert. Ankit will be an expert here, and Prashant will be an expert. Yes. Sir. Thanks. Thanks a lot. And there's another thing. So see, uh, when I talk about enabling social change impact, Pat. You can also use technology. So there's uh, there are podcasts. With, uh, uh, so Grindra came in. He runs a uh, accelerator program for B two B startups in India. That's based in Pune. So he's he had a we had a very good conversation on technology and how technology is enabling social good. Or uh, you know at least in this sense, uh, for example, Indian government, even Sweden and other countries have also used uh, you know. Digital payment system, which is one way how you could increase financial aid. So that's been done around the world. Of course, it makes things also much easier. So there are various ways you you can use technology. So yesterday I was talking to uh, Kingsley. So Kingsley is working in Africa. He's working for a company which is using blockchain to drive uh, financial. Aid. So various ways of technology which is being used for social good. Uh, we have a case of uh, Akshay Pat or Patra, uh, which is actually uh, you know uh, giving free day meals. So they are also using a lot of technology in order to understand uh, how much uh, you know how much to plan for you. So what I'm saying is technology could be used in a various ways, uh, very various tools to increase either financial inclusion, to reduce wastage, to drive efficiency. Very, very sweet. Thanks, thanks a lot. Uh, I got it exactly what you want to say. Uh, yeah. Okay. Thanks. I really appreciate Kiran. Great, fantastic question. I'm very happy that you asked something. Uh, feel free, Yogesh, Prashant, Ankit, to sort of ask me and anything which you think sort of could be a leverage between technology, could be in social, social impact space. What's our role? The uh, role. For uh, middle, road. like uh, maybe it'll be a part of middle road. Yeah. Okay. So that's a very maybe good. Maybe it'll be a like the uh, person, middle person. So okay. So uh, uh, you know, he's asked a very excellent question. Where do people come in here? 
So you have first an online community or end person community you create is to drive not only uh, want people to sort of buy your products or services. That's of course one of the aims. Sort of yeah. have a repeat plan. But is to drive and encourage thought leadership, promotion of ideas within all of us. This gives you a more of a community building exercise. This is more of a community building exercise where you come not only understand what is the latest, latest facets which are happening, this will also imbibe you to do something much more than what you One is that. The other is to connect with others, like-minded people. Connect with like-minded people. You do thousand things more goes open for you. It could be for career, it could be for projects, it could be for anything which you want to be. It could be for your passion. You might come to know two books to read, which could be which could share a sort of a common platform with you, which you might like. So just to sort of give you uh, a perspective, so you go and you broaden your horizon. So your horizon is not uh, uh, bidimensional, one-sided. It has to be multi-dimensional, multi -dimensional, multi -dimensional. For example, he is doing some work in automation industry or design. He'll get five things to know from today's session, where he can use his skill set in an industry which he never talked about. It could be an industry, which could be within the gaming, which is sustainable. It could be in sustainable infrastructure. It could be in uh, something which could be directly related with EVs. So just to give you a perspective. So this is how you, you get connected. Or it could open a horizon for you, where he gets connected with somebody who's doing something very excellent, which he has got an interest in. And you build that collaboration. For a startup, it could be a collaboration for somebody. It could be a potential job opportunity, six or one year or three years long. So here, when we meet, we are actually trying to be social change makers. We are trying to imbibe the best business practices or social practices wherein you go and you implement that in your near real life. So uh, let, let's take an example. Now he's come all the way for a session here, all the way. I, it was my first meeting. It wasn't a very jazzy place. It was a very simple coffee because I kept it so simple. You come, you have a cup of coffee and you discuss idea. Now when he goes back, he would know five things more which he was not aware of. And if those five things are important to him, then is coming all the way is actually am I correct here? Yes. Thank you. And that is the whole idea. So he's going to connect with people. Of course, he didn't get a chance now a lot to connect with a lot of people. But at least online he got connected. He's got a better perspective of what the middle road is about. And I'm sure perspective gets a bit broader than what it is. Am I correct? Prashant and uh, yeah, I think Ankit uh, left. I yet was very busy, so I want to actually thank him for uh, joining the session. I think we'll just keep it for ten minutes more, and then we'll go on the offline uh, mode. And uh, then I, I plan to be with uh, my guest here and discuss. So these are last five ten minutes. So feel free to ask anything which you want. Um, I would like to know uh, how the finance and microeconomics is going to work uh, for the uh, startups or uh, entrepreneurs. Oh, so how to uh, look for funding, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so there are various ways of funding. That's a, that's another excellent question. There are two, there are three, four ways you can do, depending on which stage your startup is. One. You can go directly to investors in pre-seed or seed rounds. You can have a lot of VCs here. So in, in India, you have like Bloom Ventures, you have uh, Calary Capital. There are a lot of uh, different, uh, depending on which sector you are, you can directly go and reach out to them. Right? In this case, second, of course, the first is you can go for incubators. So Government of India started some incubators and accelerator programs. You have to uh, register for Startup India. Then you can also register globally. 
And so one you start with first would be the round of excellent uh, incubators. Right? Then you have reached uh, at, at a sufficient level where you think uh, want to take expertise, take you from point A to point B. Then you can join accelerators. Now again, you have some known accelerators from startup, but then you have some excellent accelerators globally. Techstars, Y Combinator, are some of the biggest names which I can hear uh, right away say. Then there are certain accelerator programs which are within Techstars like Atlanta, which looks at social impact space, or you have uh, accelerators globally, including Nordstrom. I can think of in uh, uh, Sweden, well, it's a lot of them, which are within the social impact space, or if you want to look at technology, which is like really open, right, where you can go on. So when you go to an accelerator program, they'll connect you to investors. And of course, if you want, you can directly reach out to VCs. There are a lot of, for example, Google startup even just got over. So Google had a very good event where you could attend the sessions. And uh, this was a telecast online. Then you can apply to them. Then if you have then a sufficient number of uh, sessions, you can uh, actually uh, also connect with investors. So this, this is a very good uh, step. So a lot of companies now are taking steps like this. So there are a lot of, you could go to F, uh, S, F, 6S. I'll just also tell you all sites which you can go. Yeah, F6S. That is another site where you can register your startup and uh, you can keep applying to accelerator programs. You can go to angel investors. There's Mumbai angels. I, they, they are offering a discount of 50,000 rupees to lifetime membership where you can get directly an access to a lot of, there are, I think, 800 angel investors globally with Mumbai angels. That's one of the best angels in. Then Bangalore has got Bangalore angels, which are also considered very good. So you have angel investors, you have seed capital people who could come. So there are a lot of VCs in India. Of course, Sequa Capital, Tina Perkins, these are some of the top ones around Google. But then uh, they are also in India. There are a lot more in India. So there's a list you could go online. That's what I do. So when I wanted to apply, I went online. I got a list of accelerator programs or uh, investors who invest in net tech or something like sort of blend of media net tech. That's what you do. You register for government of India startup. You keep getting emails, and then you get these emails, and where you can uh, apply to all those. So that's one from government of India. If you want to go global? I've given you FSX. Register there. You get global platforms. You get all accelerator programs, and then you do some sort of research for, and you see which accelerator or whether you want to go directly to this. So you actually start with family, friends, and fools. These are the three Fs, and then you go to angels, and then you go to seed capital or a pre-seed capital and seed capital. And then there are a lot of people who actually are in pre-seed. There are accelerator programs which will be only focused on pre-seed. Then there are uh, programs which are focused on seed. So uh, things are sort of... Uh, Prashant, did I... Uh, was I able to answer your question? Yeah, yes, sir. Very informative. Uh, we'll go in detail next time whenever we meet. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll I'll mark you a detailed list of uh, accelerator programs and investors. But I suggest that in India, if you look, so you could always look at Mumbai Angels and Bangalore Angels. So that's a link. Uh, it's an online platform now, and they can connect you with a lot of investors. But there you have to sort of pay and join them, and so that's one way. And of course, like startup, various thousands of ways which you can sort of raise capital. So you have to understand. Like usually, I'm talking about. There's a fraud between equity. There's also debt financing now. But usually debt financing is not used much in India for actually early startup. I wouldn't recommend that. I mean, it depends again on what you really want. So there's also government of India is giving 20 lakhs of money to startups without any equity stake, I think. So there's also, so you could check it up, go to Startup India. That's one portal which I would go. Where I've registered and I'm still not seen, but every very sports like Thank you, thank you so much, sir. Yeah, stop calling me, sir. Call me Nishant. Since when did you start calling me, sir? Nishant. Anyway, yeah, you get anything, any, any, any other questions? Nishant, of course, I'll send you a list. You connect me anytime, and we'll I'll take you in depth. Uh, we'll discuss more in uh, any connects you want 
on a personal level also i can connect you to two three people on linkedin i don't have a very strong list but i can connect you to people on linkedin and i seriously advise you to apply to y combinator and look at also tech stars if you are sort of uh, you feel like time has come for accelerator program then you apply to tech stars also and there are a lot of 100x there are a lot of a lot of people around uh, globally sure sure okay uh, is there any other question then we wrap up Yeah, sure. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate everybody. Thanks for joining. I need to also give a special thank to Ankit. Uh, so this will be all from my end, and I think we'll take it in the offline mode. And I really appreciate. I wish. I hope I could answer all your questions. And uh, thanks a lot. Thank you, sir. Our best wishes are with you for the platform. Yeah, Prashant, stop calling me, sir. Prashant. Okay. So thanks. Thank you. Thanks, and same to you. All right, and I'll help you in whatever way you want to get uh, funded. So, see you around. See you, Karan. See you, see you again. Hey, see Thanks. you, everyone. See you, sir. See you. I'm just seeing how to. Let's go inside. Let's see.